Hello, grade six. Our topic today is integers. The objectives to identify integers, to understand the meaning of an absolute value of an integer. To identify integers, we need to understand what is the meaning of integers. Integers are whole numbers. Whole numbers contain positive numbers, negative numbers, and zero. We called positive numbers positive integers, and we called negative numbers negative integers. What about the zero? Zero is a special number. It's separates the positive numbers from the negative numbers. So, zero is neither negative nor positive. It's a special number. The positive integers can be written with a positive sign. Or also, it can be written without a sign. Because if we write any positive integers without a positive sign, any number without a positive sign or without a sign, we can consider it positive integers because we consider positive sign as a default sign. What about the negative integers? Negative integers are written with a negative sign. Negative sign is look like minus sign. So we can say that the negative numbers or the negative integers we are look like a mirror image of the positive integers also integers greater than zero that's mean the integers at the right side of the zero they are greater than zero and they are positive integers what about the left side of the zero Integers at the left side of the zero, they are less than zero, and they are negative integers. What about the zero? Zero is neither negative nor positive. Integers. I want to understand integers on this number line this number line is a vertical one let's start with zero zero is neither negative nor positive is a special number separates positive numbers from negative numbers the numbers above the zero called positive integers. They can written with a positive sign or without positive sign. These integers above the zero, they are greater than zero and they are positive integers. What about the integers? Below the zero. The integers below the zero, they are negative integers. They are written with a negative sign. And these integers below the zero, they are less than zero and they are negative integers. graphing integers on a number line i want to graph each integer on the number line 
I want to graph negative 4 on the number line, then graph negative 8 on the number line. Example 3, graph positive 10 on the number line. Finally, I want to graph positive 2 on the number line. Look at the answer. If I want to graph these integers on the number line, I'll start with negative 4. I want to graph negative 4 on the number line. So I'll go and find negative 4, then mark off the point. That means I'll um, locate or graph negative 4 on the number line. Now I will graph negative 8, so I'll go to the number line, find the negative 8, and mark off the point. Then I will graph positive 10 on the number line, so I will go to the number line, find positive 10 or 10, they are same, and mark off the point. Finally, I want to graph positive 10 on the number line. So I will go to the number line, find 2 or positive 2, and mark off the point. Absolute value. What is the absolute value? The absolute value is the distance from 0 on the number line. The distance from 0 on the number line. So, if I look to this integer, I have positive 7, and the other side I have negative 7. So, if I look to positive 7, I find the distance from the 0 is equal to 7 units. And if I look to negative 7, I find the distance from the 0 on the number line is equal to 7 units. So the distance is same for both integers. That means the absolute value is the distance from the zero on the number line. To find the absolute value of any integer, either positive or negative, the answer it will be always equals positive number. So if I have a positive integer or a negative integer and I want to find the absolute value of this integer, the answer it will be always equal positive integer. I want to find the absolute value by evaluate each expression. Example number one, I want to evaluate this expression by find the absolute value of three. Example two, I'll find the absolute value of negative 68. Example number three, I will find the absolute value of six. Example number four, I will find the absolute value of negative eight. Now, we will answer the first one. The absolute value of positive 3 equals 3. Example number 2. The absolute value of negative 68 equals 68. So, either the integer is positive or negative, the Absolute value is, il is always equals to positive integer or positive number. Example number three, the absolute value of six equals six. Example number four, the absolute value of negative eight equals eight. So the absolute value of any integer, either positive or negative, always equals to 
positive number or positive integer. I hope you enjoyed today. Thank you, grade six.